everyone i am sunidhi shahi from team academically and if you are considering migrating to the uk we are going to talk about one of the most crucial steps in your medical career journey the plap exam understanding its syllabus and pattern is absolutely vital to clear this exam and today we will just do that so let's dive right in and explore what you can expect from this exam and how you can prepare to excel we will talk about the plap exam syllabus so before embarking on any journey you guys it's always crucial to understand the path ahead likewise the plap exam comes with a meticulously crafted syllabus that outlines the essential topics candidates need to master so let's break down the plap exam syllabus blood and limb this section covers topics such as abnormal blood film bruising enlarged limb nodes and pallor next up is breast candidates should be familiar with breast lump evaluation and breast pain assessment cardiovascular topics include chest pain hypertension heart murmurs peripheral arterial disease and more next up is child health this encompasses cognitive abnormalities developmental problems and failure to thrive in children digestive abdominal pain anorexia jaundice and gastrointestinal symptoms are part of this section endocrine understanding thyroid abnormalities general endocrine disorders and abnormal blood sugar levels is essential ent ear nose and throat topics include ear aches nasal symptoms hoarseness and vertigo ethical and professional drawing from gmc guidance this section evaluates a candidate's understanding of ethical and professional responsibilities i i pain red eye orbital swelling and visual impairment are among the topics covered genito urinary this section encompasses urethral and vaginal discharge as well as urinary symptoms homeostatic acid base imbalances electrolyte abnormalities and blood gas abnormalities are covered here infectious disease topics include hospital acquired infections viral infections and travel medicine mental health candidate should understand various mental health disorders such as anxiety physiosis and mood disorders legal frameworks This section evaluates knowledge of legal frameworks relevant to medical practice. Musculoskeletal, back and neck problems, joint disorders, fractures and connective tissue disorders are covered. Neurological, topics include headaches, movement disorders, seizures and peripheral nerve problems. Older adults, evaluating symptoms in older adults including confusion and terminal illness is crucial. Pharmacological Candidates should have a strong understanding of clinical pharmacology and medication management. Renal abnormalities of urine, renal problems and urinary excretion are part of this section. Reproductive health. This covers contraception, fertility problems, pregnancy complications and gynecological conditions. Respiratory. Topics include breathlessness, chest pain, cough and respiratory distress. Seriously ill patient. This section evaluates management of critically ill patients including assessment and stabilization. Skin. Evaluating various skin conditions such as rashes, infections and dermatological manifestations is essential. Urological. Groin pain, urinary tract obstructions and other urological symptoms are covered. Now that we have covered the syllabus let's talk about the exam pattern understanding how the exam is structured can significantly enhance your preparation strategy the plap exam consists of two parts plap 1 and plap 2 plap 1 is a written examination comprising of 180 multiple choice questions candidates have 3 hours to respond to these questions each question presents a brief scenario and candidates must select the correct answer from the provided options the questions cover a wide range of medical topics and candidates must demonstrate their knowledge and decision making abilities within the allocated time now plap 2 this test is held at the clinical assessment center in manchester 
It consists of a series of clinical scenarios designed to stimulate real life patient encounters. Candidates interact with actors portraying patients or healthcare professionals. The exam format is as follows. Candidates have 90 seconds to review instructions and patient information displayed outside each station. Each station represents a different scenario and candidates must manage each scenario within a designated time frame. After 6 minutes, a 2 minute warning is announced and candidates must move to the next station in numerical order. The cycle repeats until all stations are visited. The exam lasts approximately 3 hours and candidates must demonstrate their clinical skills, decision making abilities and communication skills in each scenario. In conclusion, the PLAB exam syllabus and pattern checks a candidate's competence and application of medical knowledge, especially in the context of patient care guys. Therefore, critical thinking, evidence-based practice and effective communication skills are definitely important to succeed in this thorough assessment of their readiness of responsibilities of medical practice in the UK. If you wish to take the PLAB exam with great confidence and readiness, you must consider enrolling in the PLAB preparation course by academically. This course covers all the syllabus along with mock tests, recall questions, doubt clearing sessions and a lot more. Trust me, a lot more. Visit the link in the description below to know more about the course. Remember, success is not just about the destination but the journey itself. With dedication and strategic preparation, you can navigate through and settle in the UK successfully. Good luck on your PLAB journey. Thank you for tuning in today. If you found this video, please sure to like, share and subscribe to our channel for more valuable insights. Until next time, this is Sunidhi Shahid from Team Academically signing off.